Hey, it's me again. I'm back at the Great Bay Wildlife Refuge, and today I'm going to talk about the bobcat. The bobcat is one of only three wild cat species in North America. The other two are the cougar and its close cousin, the lynx. And bobcats are the smallest of the three. And lynx are their closest relatives. And lynx and bobcats do look a lot alike, especially when they're kittens. And it's hard to tell them apart. But if you look closely, you can see that the lynxes are tanner and also the bobcats have a spotty pattern. You can also crossbreed them together. Another close cousin of the bobcat is the African caracal. Bobcats live in forests like these, and like all cats, they're carnivores. They like to eat rabbits, rodents, and birds. And if they feel threatened at their enemies, they'll lash out with their claws at their enemies to defend themselves. And enemies of the bobcats would probably be larger predators like bears and wolves. Like most cat species, bobcats are solitary animals and hunt alone. They usually only come together to mate. Bobcats weigh about 50 pounds. <coughs> about the same size and weight as the largest and heaviest house cat ever recorded in history. <coughs> and also about the size of a small dog. Bobcats are a type of little cat. There are 40 different species of cats worldwide. There are big cats and little cats. The four true big cats are tigers, lions, jaguars, and leopards. And the only four cats that are considered both big cats and little cats are the cougar, the snow leopard, the cheetah, and the cloud leopard. The reason why they're considered big cats is because of their size, and the reason why they're also considered little cats is because of the, the shape of their eyes. And bobcats are small, and their eyes prove that they're little cats. There was a bobcat named Bear who was best friends with one of his closest cousins, a caracal named Roby. They were both grumpy gentlemen. Sadly though, Bear passed away at, at, of old age, but Roby is still alive. Like all cats, bobcats have retractable claws, which means they can stick them out or pull them back in again. And they have large eyes to help them see in dim light. As a matter of fact, cats can see 10 times better in the dark than we can. That means their night vision is as good as a shark's. A hybrid that's a cross between a lynx and a bobcat is called a blinx. To create it, you gotta breed a male bobcat with a female lynx. And most lynxes are bigger than most bobcats, so I would imagine that the offspring, the blinks, are bigger than both of its parents. The same with breeding a male lion with a, with a female tiger to create a liger. You see, if you breed, if the father is smaller than the mother, because tigers are bigger than lions, the offspring would be bigger than both parents, and that's called hybrid vigor. But if the, off, but if the mother is smaller than the father, because if you do the opposite, breed a male tiger with a female lion, you get a tigan, and tigans are smaller than both lions and tigers, so if the mother is smaller than the father, then the offspring is smaller than both parents. Thanks again. Tune in next time when I talk about the white-tailed deer.